Those who burnt down to Moses and just have forgotten that God wrought of could surface on them. That's what they are saying that those who burnt down the two Moses in Jaws forgot they could suffer the wrath of God for their action. The crisis in Jaws is not what anyone will be happy about. Everyone knows how precious their life is to them. The killing of innocent people as well as burning of properties is against everything humanity stands for. As Nigerians, it was never our nature to be violent, inhuman, or selfish. Nigerians have always been classified as tolerant people, hospitable, and imbibed for forbearance in their villain. Love and unity have always been the motto of Nigeria. We have always cohibited with each other irrespective of norms, tradition, ethnicity, religion, sadly, with the way things are currently going. I am forced to believe what the former Minister of Aviation in Nigeria, Femi Fanikayode, once said. According to the former minister, he said, evildoers have cast their eyes on Nigeria. Their plans have always failed and it will continue to fail. The governor of Plato State, Simon Lalong, said Plato State for the past six years has enjoyed peace, but all of a sudden, evildoers decided to desult to or dissolve the peace in the state. So many events have unfolded in Jaws lately that have called for serious concern and solution. But what has drawn my attention is how some people are no longer afraid of God who supersedes the affairs of man. According to a report gathered from Sarah Reporters, some hoodlums burnt down to Moxes in Jaws, a holy place, a place people should behold sacred and beware what they do around such places. Nigerians are religious people. We were taught to hold God in high esteem and the things of God sacred. I cannot foretold why the hoodlums didn't think about the consequences of their action. How does the crisis in the state concern a church or mocks? Some people should know that whatever happens in this life, retaliation is not the best way to handle things. Instead of making things better, the action could worsen the problem the state is currently experiencing. The hoodlums should also bear in mind that they could suffer the wrath of God. Consequently, consequence of the action, the appropriate authority should ensure those who committed such a hideous crime against God and man are apprehended and prosecuted. Wow, I don't really support this at all. This is wrong. They don't have the right to go and burn down any church or mocks. This is really, really, really very, 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 very wrong. How could they do this? This is barbaric and inhuman. How can you not have the fear of God in you to the extent of burning down a God's holy sanctuary? This is bad. In as much as I don't really like the killings going on in Jaws. But this particular thing they've just done now is very wrong. They have no right to burn down a place of God, which has nothing to do with their misunderstanding or what is creating differences between them. God has nothing to do with it. Why? So why would they go and burn down a church or a mosque? That is wrong. It's really, really wrong. They shouldn't have done that. But those who burnt churches will give seven virgin girls as a reward for what? Because church is not the house of God. No, no, no. We can't make comparison with this. This is wrong. And this ignorant member, remember in the Quran, Sarah 2, Maryam verses 33 to 34 say Jesus is an authentic prophet. And Quran, Surah 2, Az Zukov 61 to 62 say Jesus is the one that we come and judge means every sinner together with your prophets also in Quran Surah 2 and Nisa verse 157 to 50 to 158 say God took Jesus Christ up when you people want to kill him but all what your Quran said you didn't understand it to when Malam Malam removes you in an evil way, then you will agree with it because most of you don't have Quranic knowledge. Hmm. 
you just garbage rubbish because you lack the in-depth knowledge of the holy quran i disagree with this why we shouldn't use ethnicity or religion religious crisis on each other we shouldn't fight about god we should allow god to fight for himself why we fighting ourselves for something we are ignorant about for something we know nothing about what did you say you said nothing because you wrote like you were drunk did you say it is legitimate to burn a mox by your bible wake up our god never advise anyone to go into violence because our god is a god of peace he is not a god who fights people he don't he doesn't go into war with anybody our bible is against it so i don't know where and when these people get their own ideologies from that they've kept on fighting each other and killing each other this is wrong i think it's high time for us to say the truth and speak the truth so that the truth will set us free when we see what is wrong wrong which is it is wrong yes we know that the the muslims were the ones started this first by burning churches whenever there is crisis in any yeah, but that doesn't guarantee or give us the guarantee that God will also be happy with us if we do the same thing in, in, in return. It is wrong and it is something we need to do something about. The situation of burning churches and burning mosques is a wrong one. But the God of Islam, if he is the real Lord, fights for himself. Exactly, let God fight for himself. And that is the preaching that they were supposed to give to all these um, jihadis who have fighting themselves in, in, in the name of fighting for God. Like the Taliban who are fighting themselves in the name of fighting for God. Who ask them to fight for God. God is not a weakling. He is the great God, the almighty God who created heaven and earth. So how is it possible for him not to fight for himself? That you people, ignorance and non-entity are claiming stupid rights on killing innocent blaming you are fighting for God. This is wrong. What is going on in this country? Are you sacred of the aftermath? No, no, no. I disagree with you. This is quite unfortunate. May God deliver Nigeria. Both Christians and Muslims must respect each other for peace to reign. Policies of divide Politics of divide and rule. The masses are wasting their lives while the instigators are in the high places dancing. But whatever has a beginning must have an end. Exactly, this is wrong. Why are they fighting themselves? Why, why, why? If it is the politicians that are paying them to each other, then I must say sorry to them. Since crises are going on in this country, Harry and his cohorts not enjoying themselves. So what is going on with our youth? Why are we fighting ourselves? You can go to the comment section and share your take on this article. Thanks for listening.